What's up you guys? It's Bianca Joy Day. I'm that pretty girl trucker and here's what I'm cooking today. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Bianca Joy Day and I'm an over the road truck driver, which means I pretty much do everything in my truck, including cook. So um, in this video, I'm gonna literally take you guys along with me on the whole process of what it looks like for me to meal prep. I pretty much probably meal prep maybe two times out of the month, so I don't do this every day. I do this so I don't have to cook every day, but I still wanna eat good, right? But I don't want to have to cook every day. So this is kind of like the compromise that I've made for myself. Um, just meal prepping two really big meals and just kind of storing it in the freezer, the refrigerator, and just eating it um, throughout the month. But this has really worked for me. I wanted to put y'all on and just for those people who are not even truck drivers, but you're just interested to see how it actually works in a truck, like how do you cook in the truck, we're gonna go over all that in this video. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get it. Okay guys, so this is the prep I did so far just because if I did it while I was filming, that would've been a lot. So I went ahead and um, thawed out chicken thighs and I washed them. If you're, ever, if you're wondering how to wash, I pretty much just use these disposable pans multiple and I just pour a bunch of water in them and then kind of wash them pour it out wa pour more water wash them pour it out literally the same thing like you would be in the sink I just kind of make this my sink and then I have some red potatoes that have been cut up I have over here some green onions some a diced jalapeno and some chives over there I have one whole big white onion I have a pack of turkey bacon and then over here I have ground turkey I have some cheese over here. I have extra sharp cheddar and some triple cheddar right there. I have some diced green chilies, some queso, some sour cream, avocado oil. I'm going to use that to marinate my chicken, some corn. That's the can of beans right there and a bunch of seasonings that I'm getting ready to season with. And I'm also going to be putting this in the taco, um, in the taco rice. So yeah, I really like this one because who's making rice on the truck? I'm not, this is a really easy, convenient way to have beautifully cooked rice every single time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I did was drizzle the chicken with some avocado oil. This kind of gives the chicken some, or the um, seasoning something to kind of like stick to and adhere to. Um, and it also gives for a really good crust. Um, and a lot of the seasonings that I'm using are no salt based seasonings. So what you see me seasoning is more so for flavor rather than for salt by the way um but yeah this actually turned out really good i went ahead and mixed it up as you guys are about to see in just a few seconds here and um i set it to the side to kind of marinate while i was prepping everything else Oh, and I don't think that I told you guys what I was making. So I'm making chicken thighs, pan fried chicken thighs with loaded potato casserole and broccoli. And then I'm also making like a loaded rotel type of thing, um, which is gonna have rice, beans, taco seasoning, onions, queso salsa, a bunch of deliciousness stuff. So. Okay, now we're gonna begin the official cooking process of the chicken. So I just put a little bit of canola oil in the bottom of this electric skillet. Which, side note, for any drivers that are current or um, future, if you're watching this, um, get a really good electric skillet. That's going to save you so much dishes. It's going to save you so much time. 10 out of 10 recommend because I don't know if you guys have did this, but I've done this where I've meal prepped in a truck and I had my two burner hot plate. And after I cooked, I was responsible for doing dishes in a truck. Now, y'all people who don't have a truck probably don't know what it's like to do dishes in a truck, but it's not the funnest thing. It's actually something that I try to avoid at all costs. So, 10 out of 10 recommend get you a really, really good electric skillet. Um, and as you guys can see, I'm literally just pan searing or pan frying or whatever you want to say. Um, these chicken thighs and all of that liquid that you see at the bottom is the kind of... It's the mixture of uh, the juices from the chicken as well as mixed with a little bit of the oil. So now we're moving on to this loaded potato um, casserole. You guys, a long time ago, I found this recipe on TikTok 
And when I tell you guys, this is like probably my fifth or sixth time making this. And it is so good. Like, it literally tastes like... It just tastes so good. Like, it just tastes like everything that you would have in a baked potato in a casserole. And it's creamy and cheesy. And it has, like, a nice bite. Like, 10 out of 10 recommend. But what you guys see me putting here is I have a can of mixed cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. And then I have one pan, one can of just all, all cream of mushroom. I mean, all cream of chicken. And I did use both cans. But they were, like, the regular size cans of this. I didn't use, like, the huge, huge cans. And then I seasoned it. I believe I did it with Slappy Mama and Pepper. And then I put the cheese that you guys saw at the beginning. I went ahead and cooked some bacon. And I chopped that up and put that in there. Along with all the vegetables I showed you guys initially. And I'm just mixing it around. Mixing, mixing, mixing. And y'all, this was just... I just, me personally, like, if you know me in real life, I love cheese. And <laughs> so... This was so freaking good. It just tastes like the, 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 a really good baked potato. So, yeah. Um, clearly, it wasn't enough cheese. Like I told y'all, I like cheese. So, I went ahead and put some more cheese. And I think I may have seasoned it a little bit more just to bring out um, the flavor. But I seasoned it with just plain salt. Because if you ever uh, taste something that you're cooking and eat more um, seasoning, try just putting a little pinch of salt in there because the salt is going to help bring out the flavor of everything else. And as you guys can see, baby, I tried it. I tasted it and it gave what I needed to give. It was so good. I had to look down, baby. Okay. Don't play with me. That's my little, it's, that's my little cheesy dance. Okay. Period. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Now we're beginning the process for this taco dip. So yeah, guys, this was actually really good too. And I'm not just saying that because uh, it's me but I, I genuinely like I, I let my TNT uh, taste it too he said it was good so um I just had to I put some uh diced onions in a skillet with some oil and I believe I put yeah I put garlic in there too I seasoned it and then I added the ground uh turkey then after that was finished cooking I added both packs of um 25% less sodium taco seasoning mix that around and now I'm going to begin to make like the actual um, components to the dip. So I added the, I added like half a can of corn. I didn't use a full can of corn. And mind you, this is three packs of ground turkey. So yeah, keep that in mind. So I used half a can of corn, both cans of green chilies, like three fourths can of black beans. And that's just about like a cup and a half of rice I used. Um, and then I used about a cup of salsa. This was like the ghost pepper habanero salsa. So freaking good. I love spicy food. And then I added that whole container of queso and I just mixed it around. Um, and you guys are going to kind of see me adding stuff to it as we go. Because um, it was just, it just needed a little bit more. So um, I definitely added some seasoning. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but cumin seasoning, if you ever run out of taco seasoning, just use cumin. It literally is like the same thing. So I ran out of taco seasoning, so I had cumin in my uh, cabinet. So I just used a bunch of cumin. And also I just went in with a layer of Slappy Mama and salt, I believe. And of course, some more cheese. This is some more cumin, so I just did another round of seasoning because it needed it. And I had some leftover nacho cheese in my pantry, so I went ahead and added that for like an added creamy effect. And girl, like this was, this, this was, this was, yeah. This is, this was, yeah. 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 It was nice and spicy and creamy, and it gave like Rotel vibes. Just like a loaded Rotel. It was just so good. And so this is going to be served with some tortilla chips. We want to top it with cheese if you want it. And um, some pico de gallo. So it's just so good. And y'all about to see me try and watch my dog pop up behind me. Y'all, he heard that, that, that. He heard that chip. And baby, he was like, where is mine? Okay. I know y'all see that boy right behind me. Like, um, am I going to get some? He's just so small. Okay, guys. So we are officially done. Here we have broccoli. I literally just warmed this up, seasoned it, and put some butter on it. Then we have our chicken right here. Then we have the potato, the potato casserole. Yeah. Oh, don't play with her. And then, of course, I think I, I'm trying to get y'all to see this thing. Y'all see this thing? 
Okay guys, so we are officially done. We did our thug fizzle in this makeshift kitchen that we created in our truck. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Y'all know they say if you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. So that's just true testimony that every single thing is seasoned, every single thing is delicious. Um, and yeah, all I have to do is prepare this or like uh, put it into small separate meal prep containers. But other than that, the hard part is done. And I'm not cooking for for a good for a good minute. So, um, yeah, that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to the end of this video. And if you guys want more videos like this, just let me know and I got you. Um, so without further ado, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when I post. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.